How 12 billion bullets are made each year in an ammo factory. Over 12 billion bullets are manufactured each year in the United States alone. That's enough ammunition to circle the Earth more than five times if laid end to end. But how does raw metal transform into the precisely engineered rounds that power everything from Olympic shooting competitions to military operations? From brass forming to powder loading, this is how over 380 bullets are produced every second in modern ammunition factories. Ammunition has been evolving since the invention of gunpowder in 9th century China. But today's manufacturing methods represent the pinnacle of precision engineering. What starts as simple copper, lead, and chemicals becomes a sophisticated tool capable of consistent performance under extreme conditions. The modern bullet combines centuries of metallurgical knowledge with cutting-edge automation to create something remarkable, a product that must function perfectly the first time, every time, often at supersonic speeds. Let's explore how these essential components go from raw materials to finished ammunition ready for the range. Before diving into modern production methods, it's worth understanding how ammunition manufacturing evolved. The earliest firearms used simple lead balls propelled by black powder, with each component made largely by hand. Soldiers would measure powder from flasks, pack it with wadding, and seat lead balls one shot at a time. The real revolution came in the mid-1800s with the development of self-contained cartridges. In 1847, a Parisian gunsmith named Benjamin Houllier patented the first fully integrated brass cartridge that combined primer, powder, and bullet in a single unit. This innovation transformed firearms by allowing much faster loading and better weather resistance. By the American Civil War, mass production of ammunition had begun, though much of the process remained labor-intensive. The World Wars drove unprecedented demand for ammunition, forcing rapid advances in manufacturing technology. By World War II, factories were producing millions of rounds daily using early automation. Following the war, CNC machining, computer modeling, and advanced metallurgy further refined production methods, leading to the highly efficient systems we see today. Modern ammunition starts with four basic components. The brass case, sometimes called the shell, the primer, the propellant powder, and the projectile itself. Each requires specific materials with unique properties. For the brass cases, manufacturers typically use cartridge brass, an alloy of 70% copper and 30% zinc. This specific combination provides the perfect balance of strength, malleability, and corrosion resistance. The brass must expand slightly when fired to seal the chamber, then spring back enough to allow easy extraction. Major ammunition factories receive this brass in huge coils or cups, ready for forming into cases. The bullets themselves are typically made from lead, though many are now jacketed with copper or steel to prevent barrel fouling and improve performance. For military and some hunting applications, manufacturers use lead cores wrapped in copper jackets, which help the bullet maintain its shape at high velocities. Premium bullets might contain multiple metals in complex arrangements designed for specific terminal ballistics, how they behave upon impact. Propellant powder has evolved dramatically from basic black powder. Modern smokeless powders are precisely formulated nitrocellulose compounds engineered to burn at specific rates. These chemical formulations allow manufacturers to tailor powder charges for optimal performance in different firearms and cartridges. The powder grains themselves come in various shapes, flakes, tubes, balls, each designed for specific burning characteristics. Finally, primers contain sensitive explosive compounds, typically lead stiphnate mixed with other chemicals, housed in small copper cups. When struck by a firing pin, these compounds create the initial spark that ignites the main powder charge. The journey of a bullet begins with the brass case, and this process starts with huge spools of brass strips or preformed cups. In modern factories, these strips feed into progressive stamping machines that perform multiple operations in sequence. 
The first step is cupping, where flat brass is stamped into small cup-shaped forms. These cups then undergo a series of drawing operations where they're progressively stretched and elongated. Each drawing stage makes the case longer and thinner, transforming the initial cup into the familiar cartridge shape. This cold forming process work hardens the brass, giving it the necessary strength to withstand the pressures of firing. After drawing, the cases move to heading machines that form the rim at the base and create the extractor groove. The case mouth is then trimmed to precise length and annealed, carefully heated and cooled to achieve the perfect balance of hardness at the base for strength, while maintaining softness at the mouth for proper bullet seating. Next comes one of the most critical operations. The machines punch a precisely sized hole in the case head to accept the primer and create the flash hole that will allow the primer's flame to reach the main powder charge. Modern factories use optical inspection systems that check every case for proper dimensions and reject any that don't meet specifications. At Federal Premium Ammunition's plant in Anoka, Minnesota, this brass forming process is so efficient that they can produce over 4 million cases per day. The machines operate continuously, with each stroke creating another perfectly formed brass case ready for the next stage of production. While the cases are being formed, a parallel process creates the bullets themselves. The exact method varies depending on the type of bullet being produced, but most follow similar principles. For traditional lead bullets, the process begins with lead wire or slugs fed into powerful presses that force the soft metal into bullet-shaped dies. These dies create the precise profile and weight for each caliber. Some bullets require multiple pressing operations to achieve complex shapes with driving bands, hollow points, or other features. Jacketed bullets require additional steps. Copper jackets are typically formed from copper cups drawn into shapes similar to brass cases. The lead cores are then seated into these jackets and swagged, compressed, to their final dimensions. Premium hunting bullets might undergo multiple swaging operations to create controlled expansion designs with internal partitions or bonded cores. For military and some self-defense ammunition, full metal jacket bullets are standard. These feature a lead core completely encased in copper, which prevents barrel fouling and complies with international conventions on warfare. Some specialized bullets use solid copper or brass construction, particularly for hunting applications where maximum weight retention is desired. At Hornady Manufacturing in Grand Island, Nebraska, specialized machines can produce over 200,000 bullets per shift with tolerances measured to within 0.001 inches. Each bullet is inspected for weight consistency and dimensional accuracy before moving to the loading phase. Perhaps the most technically demanding component to manufacture is the primer. These small cups contain sensitive explosive compounds that must be handled with extreme care while maintaining absolute consistency. Primer production typically takes place in specialized facilities with extensive safety measures. The process begins with copper or brass cups that are cleaned and prepared to receive the priming compound. The explosive mixture, typically containing lead stiphnate, antimony sulfide, barium nitrate, and other chemicals, is carefully measured into each cup while still wet to reduce sensitivity. An anvil, a small metal piece that concentrates the force of the firing pin strike, is then inserted into each primer cup, and the assembly is sealed. The primers must then dry under carefully controlled conditions to achieve the proper sensitivity, responsive enough to ignite reliably when struck, but stable enough to handle safely. Because of the hazardous nature of primer compounds, this part of ammunition manufacturing involves the most stringent safety protocols. Workers in primer areas wear special clothing, production quantities are limited, and the facilities incorporate blast walls and venting systems to minimize risk in case of accidents. At CCI, Cascade Cartridge Inc., in Lewiston, Idaho, their primer production facility operates under such strict safety standards that quantities of priming compound are limited in each room, with operations spread across multiple buildings to minimize risk. 
With cases formed, bullets manufactured, and primers ready, the next critical component is the propellant powder. Modern smokeless powders must be measured with extreme accuracy. Variations of just a few tenths of a grain, 0.01 grams, can significantly affect pressure and velocity. In high volume factories, automated powder measures dispense precisely weighed charges into each case. These systems use various methods including volumetric measuring, where a cavity of exact size fills with powder, or more advanced weight-based systems that verify each charge. Quality control is paramount in this stage. Random cases are pulled, and their powder charges weighed on sensitive scales to verify consistency. Many facilities also conduct regular pressure testing, where sample rounds are fired in instrumented test barrels to measure the exact pressures generated. Different cartridges require specific powder types. Pistol powders generally burn quickly to deliver full power in short barrels, while rifle powders burn more progressively to maintain pressure throughout longer barrels. Ammunition manufacturers work closely with powder suppliers to develop optimal loads for each application. Winchester Ammunition's plant in Oxford, Mississippi, uses computerized powder dispensing systems that can adjust automatically based on environmental conditions like temperature and humidity, ensuring consistent charges regardless of weather conditions. With all components ready, the assembly phase brings everything together into finished ammunition. This typically happens on progressive loading machines that perform multiple operations with each cycle. The process begins with empty cases being fed into the machine, where the spent primer pocket is cleaned and a new primer seated. Next, the powder charge is dispensed into the case. Finally, a bullet is placed and pressed to the proper depth, completing the round. In high volume production, these machines operate at remarkable speeds. Modern ammunition plants use progressive presses with multiple stations, processing several rounds simultaneously at different stages. A single machine might complete 10 to 15 rounds with each cycle, operating at 1 to 2 cycles per second. Quality control continues throughout assembly. Sophisticated sensors verify primer seating depth, powder charge weight, and overall cartridge length. Random samples undergo additional testing for headspace dimensions, bullet pull force, how firmly the bullet is seated, and other critical specifications. At Lake City Army Ammunition Plant in Independence, Missouri, the U.S. military's primary small arms ammunition facility, production lines can manufacture over 4 million rounds of 5.56 millimeter ammunition per day during peak operations. Their assembly machines operate 24-7 during high demand periods. Before ammunition leaves the factory, it undergoes final inspection and packaging. Many manufacturers use automated vision systems that check each round for defects invisible to the human eye, such as small cracks in cases or improperly seated primers. Depending on the intended use, ammunition may undergo additional testing. Military and law enforcement contracts often require ballistic testing of sample rounds from each lot, measuring velocity, accuracy, and function in test firearms. Some premium hunting ammunition is test-fired for accuracy before packaging. Finished ammunition is packaged in various configurations depending on the market. Commercial ammunition typically goes into boxes of 20 to 50 rounds, while military ammunition might be loaded onto stripper clips or belts, then packed in bandoliers or ammunition cans. Each package receives lot numbers for tracking purposes, allowing any issues to be traced back to specific production runs. At Remington Ammunition's plant in Lenoke, Arkansas, automated packaging systems can box and label over 1 million rounds per shift with separate lines for different calibers and product types. The future of ammunition manufacturing. As technology advances, ammunition manufacturing continues to evolve. Today's most advanced facilities incorporate robotics, artificial intelligence for quality control, and increasingly sustainable practices. Environmental concerns have led to significant changes in materials and processes. 
Lead-free primers and bullets are becoming more common, reducing environmental impact. Many manufacturers have also implemented water and energy conservation measures, along with more efficient recycling of brass and copper. Digital manufacturing technologies are transforming production as well. 3D modeling and simulation allow engineers to test new designs virtually before committing to production. Advanced analytics help optimize every step of the manufacturing process, reducing waste and improving consistency. Some manufacturers are exploring entirely new production methods, including metal injection molding for complex bullet shapes and additive manufacturing, 3D printing, for specialized components. While traditional processes will likely remain dominant for high-volume production, these new technologies offer exciting possibilities for specialized ammunition. America's ammunition industry represents a remarkable convergence of metallurgy, chemistry, engineering, and precision manufacturing. From the simple lead balls of the Revolutionary War to today's highly engineered cartridges, the evolution continues. Ensuring that the 12 billion rounds produced annually meet increasingly demanding performance standards. Thank you for tuning in. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.